Do you have eye puffiness like this or eye bags like this? Do you think it's just genetics and there's nothing you can do at home to get rid of this puffiness or bags? Well, I'm here to tell you that there are certain factors that you can control and some home remedies that you can apply to reduce or completely get rid of eye bags or puffiness like this. Interested? Then keep on watching. Hello, this is Savardiba, and our today's quest is to learn how to get rid of under eye bags or puffiness at home. Now, what is this eye puffiness? The medical term of eye puffiness is periorbital edema, which basically means swelling of eye orbital area. They are also called eye bags when the swelling primarily occurs under the eyes and appear like this. But what causes our eye area to swell like this or get puffy? There are a number of reasons. Let's learn about them. Number one reason for eye puffiness is undersleeping or oversleeping. You can start to notice swelling or puffiness under the eyes if you're not getting enough sleep. Ironically, eye puffiness can also occur if you sleep too much. This is a very common factor that contributes to eye puffiness, and that is taking too much salt or sodium through your diet. Especially if you're an Asian like me, love to eat spicy and salty foods, then that might be a pretty common trigger for you. Allergic reactions can trigger eye puffiness. It can be allergy from the dust, from pollen, from your pets, the air pollution, or even from dandruff. Fragrances from skincare, cosmetics can trigger eye sensitivity and eye puffiness for some people, especially low quality or expired skincare products that are used around the area, such as eye cream, can also trigger puffiness. Medical conditions like thyroid, hormonal imbalance, or kidney disease can also be the cause behind your eye puffiness. If your kidneys don't function properly, they may retain more water on your body and swell up the area around the eyes. Another common cause is sinus issues. If you have sinus issues, you might notice puffier eyes or bags under your eyes often. Sinus issues might hamper the fluid transmission around the eyes, causing congestion, and this may lead to puffier eyes. Eye puffiness can also occur from any infections in the eyes. Some sleeping postures can aggravate the problem of eye puffiness. For example, if you have the habit of sleeping without a pillow, meaning while you are sleeping, your head is in a lower position than the rest of your body, then fluids can flow towards your eye areas and swell it up. The same thing happens if you sleep on your stomach without any pillow. Smoking and drinking too much never does any good for your body. Eye puffiness is very commonly seen among heavy drinkers or smokers. Remember all those thousands of skin issues caused by stress? Eye puffiness is also one of them. If you or anyone in your family has eye bags, you might inherit them too. For some people, eye bags appear at a very young age. For some people, it may show up as they age. Now that we have learned about the causes, it's time to know how to get rid of this eye puffiness and eye bags at home. I'm very excited for this part because I have a lot of information to share with you. If you have any kind of allergy, food allergy, cosmetic allergy, try to identify that. Sometimes you need to consult with the doctor to take medications to keep the allergy under control. I did not have eye puffiness or a bags genetically, but when I was in college, I had severe allergic reactions and my eyes used to be puffy and red all the time. After I consulted with the doctors, uh, they gave me some tests and I took medications for the allergy and the eye puffiness was gone. Also, as I said in the beginning, Fragrances in cosmetic products is a common trigger behind eye puffiness. So try to find fragrance-free moisturizer or eye cream, the products that you use around the eye area if you react to fragrances. Avoid sleeping without a pillow, unless you have neck or shoulder conditions that requires you to adjust your pillow. Try to sleep in a position where your head is slightly higher than the rest of your body. Make sure contact lenses are properly cleaned and sanitized before putting them into your eyes. Smoking and drinking should be avoided not just for your eye puffiness, but for your overall health. Similarly, adopting a good sleeping habit is very important for your body and skin. As I mentioned earlier, in taking too much sodium or 
having too many salty foods is a very common reason for puffy eyes and under eye bags. Please pay attention to how much salt you're intaking, either separately or with your food. A lot of people tend to drink coffee, tea or other drinks at night or before bedtime. But consuming too much fluid before sleeping may contribute to puffy eyes. If you wake up in the morning and notice that you have puffy, very puffy eyes and noticeable eye bags, then there are some tips that you can follow to reduce eye puffiness noticeably in a short time. Number one, cold compress. This means pressing something cold to the eyes. For example, you can wet your towel with water and press it onto your eye area. Another very popular trick that actually works is a cold steel spoon. Take a spoon like this and very gently press it on both of your eyes. It will help with the swelling, aka puffiness around the eyes very fast. You can even use slice of cucumber like this, keep it in the freezer, and then press the cold cucumber onto your eyes. Although I prefer the other two options more because I'm not a fan of putting foods on my face. Number two, caffeine. Caffeine is great for reducing eye puffiness and eye bags. You can use eye creams or moisturizers containing caffeine around your eyes. Or if you have tea bags in your house, that can do the job too. But again, as I said, I'm not really a big fan of uh, putting foods on my skin. But if you want to do it, you can. There are many professional treatments to get rid of eye bags or puffiness, of course. But I'm not going to discuss them in today's video, as I only wanted to discuss about things that I want you to try at home to temporarily avoid this problem. Hope you learned something important about eye bags and eye puffiness in this video. Let me know in the comment box below. If you like this video, please give it a like, comment, and subscribe. It will really help grow my channel. See you next time. Till then, take care of yourself. Don't forget to love the skin you're in. This is Sara Diba signing off today from Diba's Quest.